sound can do incredible things, much more than create that awesome song you like. If used correctly, it can make things levitate. There has been several experiments on smaller objects with success. This is called acoustic levitation. You can use sound waves at frequencies humans can hear or use ultrasonic frequencies that humans cannot. Imagine finding a floating potato or a watermelon without knowing how it's floating in the air. If you had enough power and amplified the sound, even greater objects could be moved and levitated. Levitating objects and making music isn't the only thing sound is good for. Peter Davy, 92 years old, got an idea when he noticed different objects shook when he played different tunes on its saxophone. He created a device that emits high frequency sonic vibrations that boils water when it comes in touch with it. It is cold to the touch but boils water using sound. There is a nifty way of cooking your tea. Just fill up your cup and put a sonic resonance boiler into the cup and you are ready to drink. While we're talking about frequencies, in 2008 scientists figured out that viruses could be neutralized by using sound that is set to the viruses and resonant frequency. Resonant frequency is the frequency which objects naturally moves, everything has a resonant frequency. The trick now is to figure out at which frequency the viruses get neutralized. And who knows, maybe in the future sound could be used as a treatment. You can even change DNA and modify its properties using sound. Changing the data inside the DNA and telling it what to do. Some Russian researchers did some examining into DNA and found out that you can manipulate parts of the DNA using sound. A Russian biophysicist called Pyotr Gargajev altered a frog embryo's DNA and turned it into a salamander embryo. By doing just that, using sound to alter the DNA and give it the information it needed to become a salamander embryo instead. There are many more uses to sound. Keeping crowded areas clear of people or areas that are filled with people who aren't supposed to be there. Using various sounds such as high-pitched beeping or some types of music has proven to work keeping these areas clear. The downside of that though is that if you live nearby you have to learn to love the sounds or you're out of luck. Let me know in the comments what you think and if you have ideas for other videos. Please subscribe to my channel, it would mean a lot. New videos coming every Monday. Thanks for watching and stay interested.